Hey guys, Jackson Savvy here. Today's tech video will actually be a bit of a band-aid fix for PUBG. Specifically for when you're having trouble launching or exiting the lobby and you're getting those crashes during those times. Uh, this is the error code you usually get. Uh, the crash reporter pops up, says a process has crashed. I don't even send these anymore because half the time the crash reporter crashes. Now, a little backstory. I'm running a... Uh, ASRock X370 Tai Chi motherboard with a Ryzen 1700. It's overclocked to 3.9 gigahertz, uh, 16 gigs of Trident Z RGB RAM, as well as a GTX 1070. So my specs are more than enough to run PUBG very well, but I still get the crash on launch and exit to uh, lobby. I went as far as doing a full Windows reinstall after you know installing redistributables getting rid of overlays, getting rid of overclock, and finally uh, I did that full reinstall. Still had the problem. So uh, I even got with PUBG's support team and finally they just said they'll forward that info to the devs because we couldn't figure it out. Now I came across this page which is in the forums for Battlegrounds which they never told me about. Uh, there's a couple of fixes in here but the one we're going to be focusing on, and I'll have this link in the description, will be the setting affinity for TSLGame.exe process. Now what this is, is you'll go into your task manager and I'll show you all how, and you're gonna disable all your CPU cores except for CPU zero. Basically a single core when you're launching the game. Now, I know this is gonna be kinda long-winded, but I need to explain why this is happening. This isn't solely PUBG. It's also your motherboard if you're using AMD, or possibly Intel if you've got uh, six or eight cores. What it is for Intel though is the motherboard has a version of a GESA and that is AMD generic encapsulated software architecture. Now your BIOS updates are what updates this and basically it's the way that uh, the BIOS initializes the processor cores, the memory, and the hyper transport controller. So uh, to break that down, uh, whenever you launch an application, that's what tells it, hey, we can use these cores, let's do it like this. And this is also responsible for how much you can overclock your RAM. So I finally got sick of it. I wanted to run PUBG with my overclock processor. I wanted my RAM overclocked to 3300. So this is the way that I finally got that. So let's close that out. And first thing we're going to do is open our task manager. Hit Control, Shift, Escape on your keyboard. And you're actually going to start right here. It'll show processes, but go ahead and click over to Details tab. And your scroll wheel will be all the way up. Bring it all the way to the bottom because we want to be in the T's alphabetically by name. When we start this process, and we launch PUBG, uh, it's going to start two processes, tslgame.exe and then a battle eye service. So we're only going to do the tsl.exe. So double click your battlegrounds icon. Don't click this one with the BE. You'll see one above it, tslgame.exe. Right click, set affinity, unclick all processes, and hit CPU zero. Hit OK. OK one more time. And you'll see I'm even running an overlay, which PUBG specifically says can cause crashes. But if you're having the same issues I am, this will take care of it. And sorry for the uh, notifications. I'm getting a lot of Discord notifications on the phone. Okay, now once you're launched, you want to go back into that and right-click it again, set affinity, and enable all your processors again. Once you do that, you can play no problem. The kicker is you're going to have to do the same thing, like I said, it's a Band-Aid fix. You're going to have to do the same thing when you exit the lobby. Before you hit that button to exit the lobby, once again, right-click TSL Game. Remember, we're in Details tab. Set Affinity and unclick everything and click it back to zero. Once you've exited the lobby and you're back at this screen right here, Go ahead and right click, set affinity, and get all your processors back. 
Now, like I said, this is a horrible fix, but it does enable you to play. And for me, uh, <laughs> it actually blocks one of my Adobe products. But uh, what it does for me is allows me to stream, play with no issues whatsoever. But uh, guys, if you're having that problem uh, and you've gone through all the other troubleshooting, you've kind of got a similar setup to me or just the same crashing issues, go ahead and give it a try. Now, I do kind of look down on Pub because they could release a small little script that would enable you to double click it before you launch the games. It automatically set that affinity for about 10 seconds and then set it back. But uh, they're not addressing it. So until they do, that'll be how you go ahead and take care of that. So sorry for the band aid fix, guys. It's the best I can come across. But thanks for watching and hit me up in the comments. Appreciate it.